Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel. This is Morning Tea. How are you doing? Cheers. Um, it is... Let me turn my phone down before it beeps or anything. It is um, Thursday, February 16th, 2012. And um, today is, is, is a very... Uh, well, I don't know how to start this off. But something happened yesterday, and... Um, it kind of threw me over a loop. It, it was one of those uh, things like an AA. And if you follow me on Facebook, you saw the post where I said that I was very upset that I'm not being able to work today. And uh, here's what happened. And, um, you know, in AA, we say that the records of our past will, will come back to haunt us. And um, it did yesterday. And it really knocked the wind out of me. And, and today is just about sharing. I really don't have my cards. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about putting them out. And I don't have any inspirational message. It's just something that happened to me, and, and I'm, um, it took me back. It took me back to, to four and a half years ago, and, and still being high and drunk. And um, I have been, when I was first, uh, when I went to rehab, and the reason I went to rehab was because I was accused of theft. I, um, I was accused, I was arrested for a felony. And um, uh, the accusation was the, the amount of money that they put on the thing that I took. I took a laptop, and this is back in 2006, and it was a, a dispute with the boss. And um, <clears throat> I did it. I, I did it out of anger, and I did it out of frustration. Not because I was gonna, not because I was a thief. I guess I was a thief, but because I felt it was an injustice, and that was part of our 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 farewell. We were the company was closing, and we had been donated all these computers, all these laptops, and everybody was gonna take one. When, when the company shut down it was a compensation gift and I, I had to quit two days before the company shut down because I had been off for a new job and I still I took my laptop and my boss at that time who was the board of directors president and I who really didn't we didn't like each other to start off with um, he accused me of theft and I accused him of being an asshole and um he wanted the laptop, and I said, "You'll never get it." And it was a bitter war, and you know, it was all, it was mine, and it was a principle of it. And anyway, I got arrested for it, and he said that the laptop was worth fifteen thousand dollars, which I don't know what laptop that's worth fifteen thousand dollars. Anyway, the judge laughed at that and, and kind of reduced it to a misdemeanor. And then once I went to rehab, that was cleared um, as part of my instead of going to jail, I went to rehab, which of course we all know now where it turned out. Um, thank God. And um, so ever since then, every um, I've never been worried about a background check because it, it comes back clear. Well, I was I was recommended, and I want to thank my friend Brock who recommended me to this company to work for them. And uh, um, the lady was really excited because I was really highly recommended, and I, I, I think I do a good job in promotions. And um, then the background check happened, and I don't know what company they use, and I need to investigate that and find out what the status is. But apparently the felony came up, and I was not allowed to work today. And this was just, it just happened yesterday. And I was at another job, and I couldn't come home to check on the paperwork. And there was an, I had to just say, you know, you know, it's not going to happen, and I appreciate it. And I had to walk away. And um, for the first time in a long time, I felt really judged and um, really put down and I felt really less than and for the first time in a long time I felt like I wasn't good enough and that everything that I've worked for so hard in the last four and a half years was suddenly just wiped out and I know this is just this is just feelings and it, it's really not that way but I felt like uh, one person who doesn't know me can look back on my record and find this thing that that shouldn't be there and it made me realize that that's part of my life and I'm not I'm not totally distraught I mean one job is not going to deter me or stop me but it definitely made me remember where I come from I don't know what the universe has in mind and I know I don't know what intention um, God had for me to get this message today um, I haven't figured it out. I, I just feel like I I can't be home and I don't want to be anywhere else. And um, 
I feel a little lost today. Um, I feel like some of the stuff that I've uh, founded my beliefs on have been kind of shattered all of a sudden. Um, um, I think my, my e I talked to my friend Henry last night, and um, I think that my ego was bruised and my self-esteem was tested. Um, I know that if they came up now, it'll probably come up again in other situations, and that worries me. Um, but I wanted to be honest with you, the Morning Tea followers, and let you know, uh, not, not that it's really anybody's business, um, unless you're in a background check on me, but um, I assure you that that was what happened then, and not who I am now, and um, I'll get my lawyer to look into it and, and check what why that happened, and I, ho I hope I can fix it. Not for this company, I'm not really concerned. I'm, I'm upset that Sharon, the lady that, that brought me into the company, uh, was maybe caught in the middle of it. Um, I, I feel embarrassed towards her. Um, but the reality is that I was sent to jail for a felony. It was cleared. Um, it was a misdemeanor, and then by then, by the end, it was all completely, because uh, ex the door was exonerated, I was, I was completely cleared of everything after rehab, and that is the truth, that is my truth, and um, so, um, I don't have, I don't have much more to hold on to right now than my truth, and uh, uh, again, I, I, I thank you guys for just listening to this. Uh, I guess every once in a while I, I need to just come up to you guys and, and put it forward. I, I put everything else forward, so this is just another part of me that I'm, I'm giving to you. And um, I don't have my, uh, my, my, my oracle cards with me. I, I left them in my bag last night and I didn't even think about them. But um, how about we just pull your fears? And uh, I feel like I need that today. I need to be fierce and, and recognize that there's more to me than what a paper says. And there's more to you than what anybody says about you. There's, remember that. You're fierce and a paper, a rumor, it doesn't define you. You are who you are. I love you. Thank you, guys. I will see you tomorrow.